brothers and sisters, you remember back in the days we used to snuggle up, some of us, get some popcorn and turn on the Twilight Zone? Rod Sterling, the one with the big old eyebrows, he always had a very cool, smooth voice. And he, I believe, wrote many of the Twilight Zone episodes. Let's not get too intrigued with the Twilight Zone per se. But there was a particular episode called Talking Tina. Now, Talking Tina was about a possessed doll that this little cute little girl couldn't keep her hands off of. But her stepfather, who was kind of rude, noticed that this doll came to life. And was saying some foul things to him to the point where he literally was ready to kill the doll. And it just so happens that, well, I won't give it away. Maybe one time you'll look at it. But I'm not specifically talking about the Twilight Zone. I want to talk about now. Let's fast forward it into what we are dealing with now. You see, the devil has been behind the scenes. And he will use dolls. He will use people. He will use objects. But most importantly, he will use your attentiveness and distract you from the real thing. Oh, yeah, it happened in the garden. Listen, as long as Satan got Eve's distraction and attention and her eyes off of God, she accepted what he said. She accepted falsehood. And that's exactly what a lot of people are doing these days. A lot of women and yes, a lot of men. You mean to tell me there's not men out there playing with dolls? (laughs) Well, you keep on to the next couple of minutes of this video and you're going to see some things that will boggle your mind. Brothers and sisters, we're talking about grown women that getting fixated with babies in a box. Oh yeah. Babies are being delivered from household to household silicone. And you don't realize that the people that had their hands on these dolls could have downright been witches or warlocks. Anything that's dealing with something that is not real, you have to question it, especially when you have that sort of emotional, mental attachment. Listen, there's women that bathe these babies. There's women, grown women now that look at these babies as their own children. Now, whether it be a situation where they needed it emotionally or needed because they lost a child, I've had a few miscarriages so I can empathize, but you have to look at the spiritual ramification and the devil behind the details. Oh yeah. See, Satan wants to break down the family structure. Anything that is of God, anything that is pure and is a reflection of God Almighty. He says, you know what? I can do it too. That's why there's a lot of cloning and that's just where a lot of transhumanism and see, see, yeah, yeah. We are living in a society where we're never entertained enough. We're always looking for the next best thing. You saw it in the matrix. Listen, they had this years ago where babies were literally being born in a sick mechanical way. Brothers and sisters, see Satan is trying to get you so used to things like this Where you say, you know what? I work so hard. I don't want to have any children. I don't want the stretch marks. I don't want the whining. Let me just make a baby in an incubator while I sip my coffee in the morning. Oh, yeah. See, this is sick. What are you doing mentally? What are you doing emotionally? You're disconnecting your Spirit, heart, mind, body, and soul, and psyche from the things that are purely a gift from God. You are accepting. You are going with the norm. Listen, this is going to be, listen, you're, but by the time my, my, my son is five, by the time my son is 20 years old, I can only imagine what type of technology that they're going to have. Listen, back in the days, all those movies that we've seen, I'm talking about the Matrix on back. They're showing you what they can do. They're showing you what they already have. Technologically and medically, scientifically, 
every facet. They are doing it now behind the scenes. And just a little bit. They want to just give you a little bit. They're not going to blatantly just push it all in your face. They're going to spoon feed you enough to where you're saying you are what? In agreement with it. Just like the mark of the beast. Listen, you can't put down your plate now. There are people that are adults that are buying sex dolls. That are having sexual rendezvous. Spending thousands upon thousands of dollars for something that is fake. That is plastic. That is silicone. That is sick. Oh yeah. That is sick. Children of God. We need to wake up. If there's any children of God out there that are masturbating or having pornographic uh, rendezvous, you better believe you're going to be having incubus and succubus dreams. You're going to be having demonic attachments. So when you buy these dolls and you are mentally and emotionally invested in plastic or in silicone or whatever else you're getting off with, you Best believe, even if it's a woman, because they have, you know, dolls for women too. You best believe you're going to be full of the devil, ready for hell, and demonically possessed eventually. Oh, yes, brothers and sisters, it's time. It's time to put down the dolls and pick up the word of God. Bless the children of God.